How do you feel of being in the spotlight and being an example for young women that want to be in this space? How do you feel like being the standard yeah. and the blueprint? Well, I mean, I hope that I can be a good example every day when I'm out there. Along with others like Doris well, Burke. I was going to say, yeah. there's, we're lucky. There's so many women, just at ESPN, but even across mm -hmm. the board, no one has to carry that weight on their own. And that is a relief. And as I say, different from the women who were maybe a generation before me, where a lot of them, they were not the only one in the room sometimes. They were the only woman in the room. All, all the time, time. Yeah. and now I'm still the only woman in the room sometimes, but mm. it's not all the time, and right. that makes a huge difference. But I hope that I can show people and young women that they have the room to succeed, but also the room to screw up. Right. It's okay. Again, it's why every time on the jump when we do stupid shit, I'll be like, "Oh God, this fell apart." And that's not the video that's supposed to run now. I should have said that. I say this is what I meant to say, or whatever, because. I do think when you are a minority in the space, whether it is race or gender or whatever it is, you feel like you have to be perfect, right? right? right. And there's that pressure on you to be perfect because you're representing everyone. And if you mess it up, I remember really clearly when I was covering more NFL for ESPN, I was the reporter on site at some football game and the guys at NFL Live or Countdown or whoever it was were, were talking. And Michael Irvin kept talking about Al Gore. Al Gore, Al Gore, Al Gore. And it just didn't, I was like, no, Frank Gore. Frank Gore is who he was talking about. But he just kept slipping and saying the wrong name. And it was fine. I mean, it was that's legitimately funny. fine. I, that's funny. It though. was funny. It was fine. It was totally fine. If I, I do remember though, being listening with my IFB, waiting for my turn to talk and thinking, if I said that, mm -hmm. I would be probably done. I was still young enough and new enough that like, you know, whatever. So you do feel that pressure of I have to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And I am so far from perfect that I <laughs> hope that that kind of gives a little people some room. And also like I do impress upon young women all the time and young men, people who come to me for advice, like you just got to fucking do the work. Mm -hmm. It's not going to just be there for you.